think we're going. There we go. Greetings one and all. How's everyone doing? Zero watching. It's all right though. So today's live, we're talking about food. So I have my scale ready. Twenty dollar Bed Bath and Beyond kitchen scale. Check your mailbox for those um, 20 percent off coupons. They'll usually will roll through. Boom. I also have a big. I don't know if I can. Hey Alf, how you doing, buddy? No zero. Oh, I have two. I am Ito. How you doing, brother? I basically have an entire tote uh, full of foodstuffs. Uh, I do stock up when I can, so. <coughs> In fact, since it's laying right here on top, I can jump right into my... So I have a... Sea line five liter dry bag, which I did a video on, but this is pretty much my food bag because one is waterproof. So once I roll the ends down and snap it, and it has this uh, loop right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, here. So it has a loop right here. So I can just tie cordage up right up into a tree. And I mean, yeah, it's clear, but who cares? It's pretty much my what I do for food bags. Because you know, it compacts down fairly okay. Plus it's waterproof. It's not it's not that ripstop nylon material, it's actually the plastic. So I can keep uh king that bag makes S uh, ASMR MSR ASMR Some technical difficulty. Oh, there we go. It helps if I don't click or click on things. AS, ASMR are videos to help you relax. Um. Okay. Not really sure what you mean. Could just be experiencing a massive brain fart. Still has some bacon jerky from the last outing in here. It's nice that they put a little zip top seal in here so you can just seal it up. Google it. Obscure is good if you don't know what you are. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. I'll write it down. Got my notepad. And. All right, I'll Google it later. I'm not gonna do it now, but so anyway, get the bag. Oh, I saw the Bennick mix in here too. Wait, is this either Bennick mix or pancake mix? Cause I made bacon pancakes at my 
Hello, I am Ito. How you doing? Yeah, I think it's Pancake Mix. So, Lars, how you doing, brother? Thanks for clicking in. Talking about food. If you have questions that are non-food related, just fire them off in the comment chat, and I'll uh, I'll do my best to answer them. So, yeah, this is as I was saying, this is my my food bag, sea line dry bag. Just a five liter. I think I picked it up on I think eBay for like twelve bucks or something like that. Uh, Marlo, how you doing, brother? Uh, what is your day job? Uh, I actually sleep during the day because I work the uh, graveyard shift. I'm a um, security officer. I'm actually a security supervisor. Uh, Lars comment, uh, guess, commented, uh, got my video editing software resol uh, resolved today. Nice. Finally heard back. Installing now. Sweet. Cheers, brother. <sighs> Delicious. So I'll throw a question out there. Bushcrafter 1973, what's up, brother? Why did why does everyone hate Mountain House? I've gotten a lot of, I've seen a lot of comments and read a lot of comments about uh, Mountain House being bad, but I don't I quite understand what's bad about them. You know, I mean they're simple to they're simple to do. All you need is boiling water. They don't taste that bad. Like stroganoff is pretty good. There you go. Stroganoff's pretty tasty. Bush Crafters. Bush Crafter 1973. I love Mountain House. Morning Wood. Hey, how you doing, brother? Okay, so that's two for loving Mountain House. I mean, are they the best tasting? Maybe not, but, you know, I mean, you can, if you buy a bag and you don't like it, which I always suggest, buy one bag at a time and taste them. If you don't like it, just don't buy it anymore. So I got the stroganoff, which is pretty good. And I have a few flavors. At one point, I had like 20 of them because I just kept buying them. Sometimes they're on sale for like two for, you know, buy two, um, get one free, or they're just, you know, like two for like $7, I think I've seen them for. For the lasagna. Uh, Texas Nomad, how you doing? Uh, a lot of sodium, yeah, except for the salt. Yeah, the biscuits and gravy, Bushcrafter1973 commented, uh, yeah, the biscuits and gravy are pretty good. I was surprised. Yeah, they have a lot of sodium. Three hundred. Uh, this one has 330 milligrams of sodium. So, I mean, but it's not like you're eating them every day, though. I mean, you're out... For the weekend, you're out maybe just two, maybe three days. Sometimes just overnight. I mean, I don't think one bag is really gonna throw off your sodium counts that high, unless your doctor said don't eat any sodium. But I mean, if you're in relatively good shape, I don't see the harm in having a bag. I mean, I wouldn't live on them, but you know, I, I think they're all right for what they are. You know, I mean, jerky's got a lot of sodium too. So it's what? 670 milligrams of sodium. I love sodium. But you know, I don't put any extra salt in my food at home when I cook, so I feel like I'm kind of okay. Uh, Lars commented, my favorite is Mexican style rice and chicken. I bring tortillas and turn it into burritos. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, they are now make these um, street fair tortilla shells. They're only about that big. So, you know, four or five of those in a Ziploc bag should be good to go. What other mountain houses do I have? Spaghetti with meat sauce, not too shabby. I mean, I, I, I wrote on the bag when I bought these. I don't know if you can see that. 815, 2014. So, I, I know what I'm buying them, so I can help you eat, yeah, rotate them. I got another one here. It's uh, macaroni and cheese, which is not good at all. 
It's like, and I've, I've told them this on their Facebook page. I went over and I said, you know, your mac and cheese is horrendous. It never, like, fully hydrates, so it's kind of crunchy. And it, I have no plans to eat this, so. Uh, beef stew, probably one of my favorites. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but, you know, for what it is, I think it's pretty, pretty good. I got another lasagna. And then I got the uh, oh the rice and chickens, not too bad. So yeah, I have a few of these. I have uh, seven packs over here. Cheesehead Chris's favorite favorite outdoor meal, right here. <laughs> you know you know he loves them because he's always talking about them. Throwing out the little hearts for him. Yeah, the beef stew is good, but man, you need some biscuits or something with them. I will trade you the beef patty mountain house for your mac and cheese. Okay. Done. I'll trade you. I mean, there's always, uh, there's always packet gourmet. Texas State Fair Chili. Did a video on this. Really good. I mean, it's only five and a half ounces for this whole pack, and it's pretty thin. So, if I have two of these, no, nope, I lied. I have three of them. <laughs> I really should start eating these. Let's see. Can't say I've ever had Mountain House. You know, they're not bad, uh, Marlo. They're they're okay. I mean, you can pick up a pack for about. I've seen them anywhere from like eight dollar or seven. Six dollars up to eight dollars, depending on which one they are. Do you ever carry a firearm like the panel, by the way? I oh, like the channel, by the way. Thank you. I'm glad you like the channel. That was Pat Outdoors. Uh, I don't carry a firearm because I don't own a firearm yet. Uh, I want, you know, I do, I do like firearms. I do want to get one. It's just, you know, I, sometimes everything is just gets in the way. So, like right now, I'm uh, Saturday. Like today is Wednesday, so Saturday I'm actually going to pick up a truck. So I'm gonna have two vehicles. So I'm gonna have to pay. The only it was given to me for free. It's basically, it was a a pay it forward deal. So free truck. It just needs a some clutch work done. But with the money I would have spent on a new on a used truck, I can now do get a free truck, get the clutch fixed, or whatever's wrong with it, and. Uh, you know, so that so a little bit of money for that, boom, for the vehicle. But it's gonna be basically my new outdoor vehicle because it's a four by four. So I'm getting that. That will be Saturday, my only day off this week, unfortunately. But um, Wall Hiker, how you doing, brother? I did see your comment. Beef patty is my least favorite. I'll try it. I'll give it a shot. I've never. I don't think I've had that one. I've had the rice and chicken, but I've never had the beef patty. We should, we should hit the woods sometime, and uh, we'll we'll switch, and then we'll we'll try them on video. Um, Butch Crafter says, "I just bought some applewood smoked and sea salt off Amazon. It's amazing. Nice. Yeah, yeah. The truck should be fun. I I've always wanted one. Plus, I I have a condo, so I, there's things I want to do. Like I need a green door for the back. I didn't have one, and what not so of course then there's my favorite is the hawk vittles like I, I actually have a video on this coming up again because man I just I just love these this one this is am I probably my absolute favorite breakfast I mean it, it's so I don't know, what's the weight on this just five ounces for the pack really thin just so tasty I mean, it packs down pretty small. You'd think hash browns soaking in water wouldn't be good, but man, they're good. So, hawk fiddles. I actually got this from watching Suge. He did one of his videos, and he was eating this pack, and I thought, hash browns, huh. So I went and bought just two packs, and 
And as soon as I ate it, like, wow, that's really good. So, and I actually got, uh, I should have three of these. I'm, uh, I'm trying to eat these up because they, were, they expired, uh, ooh. No, no, this is a Southwest lasagna, but it expired December 2015. So I don't know if I can even eat this one anymore. But these I, I expired April 2017, so I'm I'm kind of in a rush to, to scarf them down. I actually did cook one at home here one time, but uh, damn, that expired. I should email them and ask them if it's okay to consume these. I mean, they are dehydrated. So Southwest lasagna, not bad, but it required uh, you can't just eat dehydrated. You had to kind of cook it. So. That's too bad on that one. Flame. Yeah. Let's see. Get everything in my way now. Uh, I am in for a mountain house cook off or the other dehydrated. Um, I'll do that morning. What? That sounds like fun. I had a good time like when we hung out. We did a uh, grilled sandwich. We did a sandwich cook-off. That was, a, that, I mean, the food was great, but just hanging out with the guys, good times. Never heard of Hawk Vittles. Uh, yeah, just go to their website, hawkvittles.com. They have uh, a lot of different kind of, that's how you spell it. A lot of different, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinners. They have soups and stews. I had their, um, their bison stew was really good. Did a video on that. Quite a while ago, a couple of years I think now. Just eat it, <laughs> yeah. Never heard of hawk fiddles. Just eat it. I might, I might email them and see if it's okay, but you know, it expired two years ago, well, a year and a half ago. Uh, well, I just flung it over, but I had a meal here, one of the hawk fiddle meals. It expired December two thousand fifteen. I mean, it might just be a, I don't know if it's okay to eat it, but, I mean, probably it's okay because it's dehydrated, but, you know, I'm, I'm still on the side of caution, so, what's well, going to go bad, okay, yeah, are you normally by the single or doubles, um, actually, these are the singles, um, these are the single ones, I, I, I've pretty much been going with the, uh, single meals. Cause I figured if, if I always if I get hungry, you know, later on, I can always just. Do I have one here? I mean, I always pack like a granola bar or something else within my food, so I can eat a meal, and then if I'm a little hungry later, a couple hours, I can just eat some trail mix, or I can have um. You know, like uh, I didn't bring any out, but I mean, I can snack on some jerky. So I can eat like one of those granola um, granola bars. Do I have one in here? I know I have a whole box. I got one box. I went to Costco and just bought a whole box of them. So ah, it doesn't look like I do. It's alright. I'm not gonna jump up. You guys know what granola bars look like. <clears throat> and there's so many different flavors. I mean, you can pretty much just pick and choose what you want to eat. So don't eat it. Two years old now. Okay. Uh, Pat Outdoors asks, do you do your camping in the Mount Baker, Snoqualmie National Forest? Uh, yes, I do. Actually, I, I just, my video I put up yesterday, the uh, camping on the cheap was done up along the I-90. So, it's uh, the Tinkham Road. It's where I've been going a lot because it's close by. There's always people there, and so if I'm out there and I get hurt, I mean, I can almost literally just crawl to the next campsite and ask for help, and I have cell range, so as much as I want to get out and branch farther away from people and litter and whatnot, I've pretty much just been going there. Um, I do want to get out a little farther, but you know, sometimes it's not always easy. Uh, Lars commented, hot Italian sausage and pasta is really good. Oh, yeah. In fact, I made that linguisa and mac and cheese. Oh, 
That linguisa looks so good. And actually, Cheesehead Chris turned me on to this. Um, it's ready-made pasta. And they only have to boil them for about a minute. Let's see. Stove top pasta, two, two to four minutes or until heated. So, depending on what you're making with it. It's a little heavy, though. 8.5 ounces just for the pasta. But I think you could, you know, that's quite a bit of food, though. You could probably break this in half and just put it in a Ziploc bag. And then, um, so it's only four ounces. Then you just got to add it to whatever you want. Like soup mix, you could throw, um, soup mix would be good, or um, just kind of, any kind of like, even just gravy, or as Chris did, cheese. So, I'm going to give these a try at some point. They can, you could combine it with uh, just chunk light tuna, which is super thin. And so, you know, that and some kind of a soup to go with it. And you, you know, lightweight. I mean, these are only. This is only 2.6 ounces. Or you could go with Spam Singles if you wanted to. So, lots of options. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Hike with Mike, hello. I carry a small cooler with frozen food like soups and sauces, and then by the time I get to the campsite, they're thawed and ready to eat. Actually, I do have a, a small... Um, I have no idea how old it is. It's a small Coleman cooler with a little green lid. I've I've shown it in quite a few videos. It's um, it's got to be at least thirty years old or more. I mean, but it still works great. I just all I do is I, I drink a Powerade. I pick them up at Winco for about about seventy nine cents each, and the big the bigger ones, and I just drink the Powerade, rinse them out, put water in it, freeze it, boom. Big thick ice pack works great. Ready made pasta, great idea. Thanks for showing. Wall hiker, you're welcome. I should have got this from another YouTuber. So thank uh, Cheesehead Chris for the idea, man. I got these at Winco, and they're not very expensive either. I think it was I it was under two bucks. I think under two dollars. I mean, it, it's kind of heavy at eight point five ounces, but I'm thinking Ziploc bag, break it in half, four and a half ounces. You could probably just throw right in the bag some gravy mix, um, just some powdered gravy mix or something, and then just bring out some kind of meat, like maybe maybe beef jerky or something like that, and just mix them together. Gravy, jerky, you know, dinner's on. So just an option. I bet you're trying to think of something creative to put in there. I mean, you could actually probably bring out... Uh, if you had a small cooler, you can bring out some um, heavy cream and some cheese and just make your own Alfredo, which is really easy to do. Nothing like frozen homemade leftovers. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with bringing, like, hot dogs or chicken or really anything you want. Uh, Outdoor is the access past. Carbonaro is really nice. It just It's just before you get into the Carbon River access. To my mountain area near Mashup Park. Lots of people there. Is that on the 410, Pat? Ready made pasta great idea. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, Cheesehead Chris. You should go uh, check out his channel. Can buffalo chicken salad is good too. Oh, yeah, that would be really good. I gotta look for that. You ever try walking uh dag four four three two one? You ever try walking Tacos slash burrito pies, etc. No, but I was actually was gonna do um, tacos uh, one night, but I ended up changing my plans last minute. Actually, everyone canceled on me, so I ended up just canceling because I was gonna bring out uh, just a big pound of hamburger and just fry up and make tacos and get those street taco shells and all the fixings. But then everyone's like, "Oh, I can't go now," and blah blah blah. So. I just end up changing it. Uh, Marlo, yep. Use it for bacon, mac, and cheese. Nice. Bacon, mac, and cheese is good. In fact, bacon, anything is really good. Even bacon, bacon. I saw these at the store, too. Franken beans. In a little can. I mean, yeah, it's a can, but 
I mean, it's eight ounces for it, but you know, you bring out some dehydrated meat or something, or like some beef jerky, you could just heat it up in a canteen, put the jerky in, and then you have, you know, pork, beans, and whatever else you want. So it might not be a good backpacking option unless you're only going out for a day trip, but it might be good for um, car camping or just uh, car trips. So. Uh, dag, you got a bag of Doritos, cut a slit and add chili and beans, eat it right out of the bag. That would be good, actually, uh, Morning Wood made, um, Frito pies in his pie irons, which was, oh, so tasty. I barbecued chicken and put them in a vacuum bag in my favorite barbecue sauce and freeze and vacuum the bag and when you get to the camp, you just put in boiling water. Actually, I do have a vacuum packer. And bags, so I could do that. You have to take the 410 to Buckley and take the road to Wilkinson. Follow that road until it ends. Sorry for the poor typing. Don't be sorry about the poor typing. It's totally okay. Uh, I am Ito. I like those Franken beans. Yeah, they're, I was looking at those too, but just ended up getting these. I think I might try to do something with these soon. And what else have I got here? Well, I guess something I, I'm going to try soon. See, uh, Backpacker Bistro. Risotto Primavera. So, unfortunately, what happened was I had a, I went and shot, I went and made an order. I got more, co I got, actually bought some coffee samples this time. Went out and vid video, shot the video, but I screwed up the editing and I deleted all the clips. So I can't go back and fix it. So I did. I tried the coffee. It was pretty good. Excuse me. And I got. I also ordered this. I mean, it was twelve bucks, and there's no meat in it. So I'm gonna give this a try at some point soon. So maybe I'll cook up a chicken breast or something. I do like risotto though. Risotto is delicious. So, so be on lookout for that. And of course, there's always my favorite, Bannock. I didn't realize I had a mixer already ready to go, so. Let's see. I've seen these, too, in the grocery store. A little gif to go, so you had you can, you know, do up something with peanut butter or just open it up and just eat it. I took them to work a few times, just like, brought some crackers with me and just had a little snack. Of course, then there's, I've seen this. Uh, hey, Jonathan, how you doing? Got uh, my olive oil, which I just keep in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't leak everywhere because it's got that little pop, pop. Usually how I carry my olive oil. So I'll just wrap it up. I try to keep it enough. I try to put it in my food pouch, you know, stuff it between the meals just up upright so it doesn't leak out. I just got done watching your video, uh, Jonathan. It was good. Your hammock overnighter. I made your bannock this morning. Good stuff. That's good to hear, Alf. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, Morningwood, I've watched about a hundred Bannock videos, and I never made it. You know, we should uh, next time I should I come over, we, I'll 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 go through a Bannock making with you. It should be fun. We'll do a. Uh, what is your favorite MRE? Uh, actually, I haven't had an MRE. Not this year. It's been a long time since I've had an MRE. I've seen some of the. Uh, Civilian kind of MREs, but eh. I mean, I'd I'd much rather just you know either make my own kind of meal or just get a pack. I mean, these these chilies are so good. Pack of gourmet chili, it's so good. I don't feel like it comes with enough little Fritos though. So I end up going to a um, gas station. I buy extra Fritos and throw them in there. 
can you, can you, I, I'm, I'm sure you can buy MREs uh, somewhere. I'm sure they get them online. I just don't eat a lot of them. I do have these. Um, I did a couple videos on these. These Bridgeford uh, sandwiches, which is sort of MRE-ish. Like this one here is a filled French toast, which tasted all right. Usually, what I do is I'll throw them in my. I'll just slide them into my day pack somewhere, and I'll you know if I if I get hungry, I can just eat one. But it's more for hey, I need something now, and these are cooked and they have a long shelf life. I got the cinnamon bun. I think I'm out of the beef ones though. So, what, am I all, what else do I have in here? I've got, uh, of course, there's always a standard staple. You got to try to pack a gourmet, Jonathan. They're good. I like them. I need to order more, but I got, I got, I got like seven of these mountain half meals I need to consume. And you know, and I've got three of these. Chilies I need to consume. I just need to get camping and get more, get more camping. And I was gonna go this weekend, but I have uh, I got work Sunday. But uh, you know, there's always good old good old ramen. Oh, where'd it go? Um, I just had a whole pack of it, but. Uh, the nor rice has been really good too. I've been. I just did a video on this. I only use half of it though because usually what um, it's a little bit too much food. You gotta try a packet gourmet. Yeah, I actually do have some. I just need to get more flavors, but I need to consume what I have first. Yeah, another really good meal too, and I got this from. Um, Malcolm at uh, Hidden Woodsman is uh, stuffing. Just go go buy a box of stuffing mix and just I just poured two uh, poured it into two different Ziploc bags and I just I heated up some bacon. So it was bacon and it was stuffing, really good. You know I took uh, three quarters of a cup of water. I just rubbed it on the bag and then just it rehydrates like that. And it was really, really tasty. Plus, if you knew a lot of, if you knew a lot of um, wild edibles and plants and whatnot, you could, you could add this to that in mushrooms too. If you, if you had a lot of knowledge for mushrooms, you knew which ones to pick. You could throw some fresh mushrooms in there, which I don't, unfortunately. Of course, you know, bacon. <coughs> Let's see. Pack of gourmet all American burger. I, I have seen those. I haven't gotten one. I haven't haven't uh, picked any up yet. They looked really good though. Like, apparently, all you needed was a bun. Actually, what I was thinking about doing is getting one and then making trying to make a bun from scratch in my panic pan and letting it cool. Slice it open. Put in the meat. Boom, and then like try to make a bun. I thought that would be fun. I just I haven't had a chance to get to it yet. Let's see. Hike with Mike. I'm lucky. I pack heavy and real food because I'm in a warm climate, and this time of year I have less stuff to carry, like those northern um, climbs. I don't have to worry about staying warmer. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, fresh food is always great. Uh, Alf commented, I make your bannock and, and try to keep it simple. I just added one pack of instant apple cinnamon oatmeal. Oh, man. I bet that would be really good. And, well, a little bland. Uh, well, you could try adding some cinnamon to it. Or just uh, like a spoonful of brown sugar might make the um, add a little sweetness. But the apple cinnamon should have had enough sweetness to it. I love chicken dinner with stuffing in the woods. Oh, yeah. In fact, um... I just watched a video from a gentleman. He actually went out to the beach and he made a fire and a spit and he cooked the whole chicken. It looked really good. What was his name? Channel name now. <sighs> Dang it. It would be nice to give him a shout out too. Uh, Morningwood, you should definitely make some 
Huckleberry Bannock. Oh yeah, Huckle uh, Huckleberry Bannock was probably one of my probably the second favorite Bannock I've had. I mean, of course, the bacon was the first, but the Huckleberry Bannock was delicious, really good. That was ripe Huckle. Those Huckleberries were a pain in the ass to pick though, because they're really small. And you pick them, but you it, you kept grabbing all the, the crap that comes with it and spiders. and It took longer to pick through them all and pull all the stuff out of it than it did to actually pick the damn things. But it was worth it. All that work put in was worth it, because you know, that bannock was delicious. I will have plenty of berries or growing gonzo this year. <laughs> yeah, sucker berries. Man, they were good. What else have I got in here? Oh, I still have uh, some fall mix I haven't had a chance to get to yet. So I need a, I need a sponsor so I can just go out and camp all the time. I have been mushrooming several times in the area Pat Outdoors is talking about. Okay. Steve from Firebox Stoves made a whole chicken and two beef tenderloins. That sounds really good. What is this? Oh. Looks like I had some rice, uh, nor rice in a Ziploc bag, but it doesn't feel like it holds up very well. So if you, if you bag them, use them up. I'll probably have to chuck this one. Yeah, a little, uh, little country gravy to spice things up. Hot chocolate. It's always good. Some of the work just left a whole box of these, so I just took the whole box. Let's see. I will have plenty of berries. I've been mushrooming. Okay, cool. I'll sponsor you for a buck. <laughs> Try making your bannock with Red Mills pancake waffle batter for breakfast style and add some sausage. Oh, that sounds really good. You know, actually, there's um, Mitch with Nature Survival makes his bannock with uh, pancake mix and oatmeal. And I've heard a lot of stuff about it, but I haven't gotten around to trying it yet. So. Someday, I hope. Knock on wood. Like right now, I'm editing and putting up the uh, the camping on the cheap videos. Which I have another one loaded up for tomorrow morning. And then, I have like five of them right now, and I'm not even done editing yet. So, I've been keeping them under 20 minutes. Uh, heck with Mike, those pickles in a pouch you can get at convenience stores are good pickles and pickle juice. Replenishes lost salt and prevents crap. Oh, interesting. And it'd be good because pickles are good. Uh, yep, that's where I get it from. It makes a world of difference. Rock on. Yeah, I need to. I need to try making that panic. It looks. It looks pretty good. And I do like oatmeal cookies. I heard that's what it tastes like. Is oatmeal cookie. You know, actually, Morning Wood actually gave me this. It was a, a package of, a, looks like rooster sauce, a little mini bottles of Tabasco, which I really wish they'd bring back. I guess they do uh, red pepper flakes in a package now, I hear. Such a shame. The little mini bottles, they just had a really cool, a high cool factor. Looks like some salt, some pepper. Some Tabasco, Tabasco sauce. Very cool. It's a good idea, good way to carry it too. So I'm glad I ate dinner before I turn the camera on because all this talk about food would have made me hungry. So pay this plan ahead. Did I have... Oh. <clears throat>
you get those on Amazon. Rock, rock on. So this uh, little mesh bag is actually the bag to my titanium Vargo pot. But what I've been doing with it, I use it for carrying all my hot chocolates. Like I have hot chocolate in here. I just threw a couple bags of tea in here. And then, um, I wasn't really using the mesh bag. You know, I just have some, uh, some honey and garbage. So I have some honey packets to sweeten your tea up. I just throw it in here. It keeps it all in one place and I don't have to worry about it. You know, finding random tea bags all over the inside of my pack, so. Uh, I am Ito asks, how do you like to make coffee outdoors and which coffee do you prefer? Honestly, um, even even though I'm a Washington State native, I actually don't drink coffee often, very often. My uh, my drug of choice is uh, energy drinks, but I'm not a coffee drinker. I mean, I don't dislike it, but I really don't. Not a big coffee drinker. Although um. I was out one weekend with uh, Lars and Bruce, uh, Bruce from Nature Calls, and, they, uh, and Lars hooked me up with one of his uh, Starbucks Vias, and I just poured it in a little bottle and just drank it cold. It was actually, you know, it wasn't too bad, you know, cold and black. Yeah, not a real big coffee guy. I usually just carry tea, but most of the time, I, unless it's cold, I really don't even drink hot drinks, so... Uh, Alf commented, in Canada, I can't find powdered eggs. Makes it hard to make some of the things you find on the internet. Powdered eggs. If you have an outdoor store, you could try seeing if they have um, just uh, powdered scrambled eggs, is what I've used in uh, in the past. That might be an option. I hate this. I hate. I. I sometimes really hate it that you have to go and get everything on the internet versus just going to a store and buying what you need. If you is it, do, they have REI in uh, Canada. I mean, you could try there. I've seen scrambled eggs on the shelf in the dehydrated food, so I would. I you could use that because it's basically just eggs. Uh, King, I like internet more than store for ninety nine percent of the things. Yeah, buy a dehydrator and make your own. See, I don't have a dehydrator, so. My buddy Alan's trying to talk me into getting a reflector oven. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have them on Amazon. I carry, I carry powdered water. It works nice. Just add water. Yeah. Saves a lot of weight, too, that powdered water, because man, water's heavy. <clears throat> I got this. I got these uh, containers that uh, Fred Meyer. They're like a dollar, but I've, I've been using them for storing. Uh, like I got a big bag of tea with some uh, soup mix. Still need to do something with. Yeah, I love Monster. More, more tea and sweetener. Oh, that's where it went. So I, I had um, some spices. I actually did a video on this too, but this is my uh, spice kit. It's just a little one of those little screw top Nalgene bottles, and all I do is I just, I put um, whatever seasonings I have in a bowl: salt, pepper, Old Bay. And then I just, I use a little funnel and I just put it in here and I can just carry this around versus carrying around all the separate spices. Because I'm going to mix them all anyway. Unless I'm doing something specific, but. Oh, uh, got some of these old uh, drink mixes. Because they're really, yeah, let's start using this stuff up. Got a bunch of hot chocolate. Bunch of hot chocolate. I even have a packet of ketchup. 
That's, that's random. Oh, well, here's a bar I was talking about. It's just Nature Valley. Nothing, nothing too special. Amazon, they come in a 10 pound can. I don't know if I'd get 10 pounds of eggs though, because um, you know, if you don't use them all up, you're going to have an open container for how long? I know I've seen those, like, what brand are they? Hot cider whiskey? Oh, yeah, that would be good. I even have some gum in here. And these uh, instant soup mixes. Parmesan cheese. I found these uh, little snap containers at I think a dollar store. So. so, hike with Mike asked, uh, "Where are you located?" I am in Washington, Washington. Are you able to catch fish and eat them when you are on your adventures? Um, I don't have a fishing license. I was actually planning on doing some fishing and getting back into it. But then, um, you know, I was at work and then they called me in the office and said, Hey, we're going to promote you. And I said, Great. And they said, Oh, we're going to move you to graveyard shift. I'm like, Oh. So it kind of killed my fishing, unfortunately. But I have been thinking about doing it again and trying to get back into it. I'm always so busy though. I don't know if he wishes to be named or not, but I actually had one of my subscribers send me a whole big box of foodstuffs. Unfortunately, I'm a, I set it on the shelf and then I you know, moved, so I moved it, and then I forgot to, I keep forgetting to get into it, because I'm an ass, but I need to, another thing I need to get on, I have some of these, uh, diced vegetables, so I got potatoes here, and then, um, celery, I actually do have an idea to use, uh, to, to do something with these, you need to get on it. Some carrots, and peas. It looks like some vegetable flakes. So I do still have it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And I keep forgetting that. Oh yeah, I get that box of stuff. You know, crap. I need to do something like that. So. So just some uh, packed up. Meals, it's like a meal and a snack, ready to go. So, biscuit mix. I love to just add water. I've actually made biscuits at camp before, so. Uh, King commented, "Man, I suck at fishing." I, I think I suck at fishing too. I haven't done it in a long time. And all we were doing, we were just catching um, lake trout and just letting them go. But I, I am very interested in getting um, getting back into it. You know. Sand singles. This package of dehydrated veggies looks 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 good. Would you have less preservatives and sodium? Yeah. That group effort sandwich extravagance look good. That was fun too. A lot of fun. Even if you don't make videos, you should just call up a buddy and challenge him to a cook off and say, Let's go out in the woods and make a sandwich. Or so or whatever. I mean pasta whatever kind of food. It's more about hanging out really than anything else. So you know, it's just about having a good time. So. 
need to get on that. Man, so much to do, so little time. Bushcraft Burgers. Yeah, um, she said Chris did a video on um, Lucy Juicy. It's a, it was a burger patty, and he put it in foil, and he baked it right in the foil. And it looked good. Something else I want to try. Have you heard of Canteen Cup Tuesdays? I have, and I actually have a couple ideas for stuff I can make. And I was going to do it on my last outing. But then I forgot to bring a canteen, and I forgot to and I forgot to prep up what I was gonna make. Cause I had an idea for a, a meal, but I hadn't done it yet. But you know, canteen cup Tuesday would be a good way for me to start using up some of the stuff that I need. I need to use and start consuming before it goes bad. <coughs> uh, hike with Mike commented. Me and my buddies always have food wars when we camp. Nice. We're all very competitive. We always eat really good when we're camping. That's that's great. That's the way. You know, that's the way it should be. You should be out there having fun. Good times. That's right. Cheese head, Chris. Thumbs up. Good times indeed. I actually had a buddy of mine. I invited him out. Uh, you know, I, the inspiration for the camping on the cheap came from uh, I invited my friend out camping, and he said, "I don't have a, I don't have a tent or sleeping bag." I'm like, "Well, you can. I have some you can, you can use. You know, I can just tarp it, no problem, because you know, tarping is kind of fun." And he says, "I don't have any money though." And I said, "Well, you know, I've got plenty of things to eat." And, you know, I can hook us up, no problem. So that's why I decided to do the camping on the cheap. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, that's why, was, you know, that's why I, I that came from the, that, that's what gave me the inspiration for the camping on the cheap. So, I don't think anything in there, I think the most expensive thing in there, in the whole, the whole thing I used was the chair, which was 30 bucks. And like the sleeping bag, but everything else was like twenty and under, and it was a lot of fun. Good times getting out. Uh, I am Ito commented. I've seen your Bannock mixed recipe tutorial. If I may ask for another video of you featuring a linguisa with a Bannock wrap, ooh, that would be good. See, my thing is, I I don't like if I if I can avoid it, I'd like to not. Have to work it with my hands. If that makes sense, that's why, why you notice that I don't mix a lot with my hands and pick up the dough. But you know, I'm out there and my hands are you know filthy with you know gunk and sap and everything else, and you know, I don't want to transfer that to the food and, and then consume it. So I usually just always try to mix in the bag or try to mix in a bowl. But I have seen bag on a stick. It looked it looked really good. I mean, I guess I could just bring some wet wipes. I mean, you can get like a small pack of wet wipes from um, Target for like a buck. So I could just clean my hands and sanitize them, you know, wash them in the river and then hit them with the wet wipes and then do my thing and just clean them afterwards. But I usually just mix it in a bowl. Unless I can find a way to mix it in a bowl and then just sort of stick it to the food. Canteen cup cobbler. Uh, Jonathan, I think you should get out of my head, buddy, because that's exactly what I was thinking. Something like that. Great minds think alike. I can try to do it, though. I mean, I can try to do some kind of uh, linguisa wrap bannock. So, Mark is not going to be bad. Okay. Those potatoes make great breakfast. I bet they do. Canteen cup cobbler. That just sounds good. Take some latex gloves. Yeah, you can get latex gloves at um, like most restaurant supply stores. Will have latex gloves, and hope you can get like a box of what fifty or so, I think, for like 
eight bucks or something like that. Plus, you can put them in your first aid kits too. And I've actually carried those gloves in my car. So if I ever came across an accident and someone was like splurting blood or you know, they had blood all over them, I could just glove up real quick. And then I could go and, because I have just basic first aid, but you know, if I can be of any help, even if it's just standing there, you know, holding a bandage to them or something or a bandana to their injury, it's better than nothing. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Lars commented, yeah, cobbler is so good. Oh, yeah, agreed. Uh, let's see. Alf commented, every year I go on a three week fishing trip. Oh, that sounds like fun. I have a reflector oven and use it on those trips. Nice. Nothing like f fresh bread or an oatmeal muffin after a week in a bush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've made a oatmeal nut or oatmeal um, honey bannock before. It was really good. So you gotta be careful with the sugar though, because it can it can burn on the bottom because of the sugar, because it'll caramelize. It's been done. I think Manland did it. Man, Manland has such a good channel. I like watching his videos. Walgreens pack of ten. Okay, for the gloves. Uh, hi, with Mike. Me, Campfire Steve, and Swamp Cooker once tried to cook bannock on a saw palmetto stick. Okay, it never fully cooked. We always joke that the bannock is still not ready two years later. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it it might uh, might be too thick. And, you know, maybe it was too thick on there so it didn't cook all the way. Uh, Bearded Burton commented, line your canteen cup with foil. You need to get an Instagram. I actually just made an Instagram page uh, this morning, actually, but I haven't really done anything with it just yet. So... But I I had to go take care of some things earlier today, and then I had so I had to leave, and then I came back and did the Facebook thing for a bit, and I logged off and made dinner, and then I jumped on for the live. So I hope to get uh, when I get a chance, I'll get Instagram Instagram working fully. But it's on there at eCarbs Outdoors. So if you want, if you like, go check it out, follow. But I, I have to get some stuff up at eCarbs Outdoors. All one word. It's, it's, it surprised me that you couldn't do, um, you couldn't do, uh, you couldn't just do, um, wow, brain fart. Wow, oh, what was I saying? Oh, follow. Thank you. Yeah, I followed you this morning. I found your channel. I found your page already and followed it. So, as soon as I get a chance, I'll, I'll start uploading some content on there. Hopefully soon. So, <clears throat> need to get on that. Actually. Something else I need to get on. Ah, oh, the king has spoken. I have been on a stream baking... Stream baking uh, kick lately. Making brownies and muffins. Oh, yeah. Man, there's something like bacon out in the woods. It's so good. It's so, so tasty. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but uh, I have stickers for my channel now. Now, this is before I changed my channel name, so I just haven't uh, made a video or anything about it. I gave Lars one because I saw him, but I'll have to do something with stickers soon. It's actually my second run because I had these first stickers from this other company. I mean, they're not even like the same. I mean, one is glossy and the other one is not. But the problem I had with these damn things is, uh, yes, I did go to Vinyl Disorder. But I went to a first one before I knew about Vinyl Disorder to get stickers, but it's like the, uh, the back, some of them, on some of these, the backs wouldn't come off. Well, of course, this one, the back comes right off on, but like some of these, Oh, I guess they are coming off. 
I had trouble getting the first few I grabbed. Um, maybe I was just doing it wrong. Unless I get the wrong ones. Let's see. Gotta go. Great information. I'll watch the rest later. Uh, I'm Ito. Have a good night, brother. So yeah, so channel stickers now from VinylDisorder.com. My buddy uh, Ross uh, drew the design for me. He's kind of an artist. A little Game of Thrones in the chat. There can only be one king. I wonder if the cobbler with a doubles up canteen would help the burn factor. Hmm. I don't know. Get back in the bag. Try to get back in the bag now. Just so I can keep them separated. There we go. So, there can only be one king. <laughs> Hike with Mike. Send me a PM with your mailing address. I'll send you one of my stickers. I'll do that. And then uh, I'll send you one back. Send you one of mine. Hey, Jonathan, have a good one, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. So I'll have to do I'll have to officially do something with stickers here as soon as I can. I'm pretty slow at getting to things. So I'll have to get on that. I gave a couple away already, but I haven't really done too many. Let's see. I'm still trying to figure out how to do a cheesecake for Lars. What about that no bake cheesecake? I mean, it's kind of a cheat, but it would work. Um, Alf, Salvante Free Frieden, folding reflector oven, great oven. And there's there's a YouTube video on it. Also, PDF plans on how to make one. Actually, I just saw a video uh, yesterday how to make a make your own dollar store reflector oven so as soon as I run down the dollar store I'm gonna grab one of those pans and I might do a video on that maybe I'll make my so I haven't posted a video yet but I made another dollar store bank and unfortunately it burnt I burnt the shit out of it just tragic really burnt just I couldn't even eat it so I gotta try again I will post a video anyway because that's just what I do Look forward to watching your videos. Nice. It's got to chill, not bake. Well, you could you could bring a cooler and chill it. I don't know how you bake a cheesecake though. I'd have to look up a recipe or something. Cheesecake would be good though, especially you can. I gotta see if they're um, growing in yet, but there's these little, tiny little mountain blackberries that we get around here. So good. It'd be nice to put those on a cheesecake or do those in a panic. That would be fun. Thanks for your time, man. I'm off. Have to work in the morning. All right, Marlo. Actually, I have to work tonight, so I hear you. It's already been an hour for me here, so I'll probably wrap up soon. So, it's, you know, thanks, Chick. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. It's gonna chill, not bake, okay. Pot pie makers. 
pot pie makers and like like are you thinking pie irons for that? Oh, excuse me. Hmm. I need to write that down. Canty Cup Tuesday. Need to get on that. I've uh, made great pizza in a reflector oven. You could also cook anything with those. Just takes time. Pizza would be really good. Like maybe a Bannock pizza. Yeah, pie irons. Yeah. I've seen them. I don't own any though. They do seem nice. I never did do a pizza Bannock. I should do that. I'm gonna write down the pizza bannock. All right, ideas jotted. Just use some large stainless steel dog bowls. I have one. I don't, I don't have another one. But they're so cheap. I mean, I picked mine up for five bucks. Wish I could add pictures to this. Yeah, I know. I just use lemon meringue pie and pie iron. Video tomorrow. Oh, sweet. You just did lemon meringue pie. Dude. I keep, I keep thinking about that pork sandwich on that pretzel roll. Man, that was that was good. That was real good. That sounds really. I, I agree, Chris. That sounds awesome. Yo, Morning Wood, you, you might almost be a freaking genius, man. Lemon meringue pie, dude. Sounds really good. Uh, I'm talking the big ones. I don't think I've seen the big ones. I've seen the, the little the little ones and the square ones. I haven't seen the huge ones. Mini oven? Hmm. You mean like the reflector oven? I like that. Uh, I like that dollar store one because it was only it was. I saw um, Snow Walker Bushcraft did a video on it, and uh, he packed it down. It was thin and only about that big, but it you know it was a fairly good size. You know, one man reflector oven, but seems like it'd be, it would work really well. So I got I got to do that. Excuse me. The yawns are coming because I'm uh, I got to leave for work in less than an hour now. I have leftover pork in the freezer. No, I'm I'm actually jealous now. I'm ready. You made quite a bit of it too. The sandwiches were good. Well, I'm at uh, one hour and eight minutes, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. Get ready for work. Excuse me. Ugh. So, thank you all for tuning in. It's been uh, fun as always. Um, I still haven't. I've yet to do a Google Hangout, but turns more or less into a Dutch oven. Mustang seven seven four. How you doing? You just logged on, but I'm I'm actually just about ready to log off. So, thank you, hike with Mike. Appreciate it. Uh, new video tomorrow morning at six a.m. Uh, Pacific time. No, nah, don't be sorry. It's okay. You can always go back and watch again. So, eleven ten here. Good night, Alf. It's uh, eight ten here. So.
you must be on the other side of the country. I wish we had quicker travel. It'd be nice to visit people. The all American sun oven is a great outdoor solar oven, easily holds 300 degree temps in Washington. Nice. I do like Cook, Ontario. Okay, cool. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Didn't get a ton of sleep yesterday, so or last night, or today. I gotta get off graveyard. Such a drag. So. Well, alrighty, this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna call tonight. Twelve forty-three here. Wow. I think I'm, uh, so, yeah, 7 p.m. next uh, Wednesday, I'm going to do another one. I have a topic already, so. Hope you all enjoyed the, enjoyed the video, and I will uh, catch you in the next one. So, have a good night, everybody. Peace. Hope you're enjoying your outdoors, enjoying your woods time. Not very backpacker friendly. Hmm. Yeah, that's all right. You can always car camp it. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Peace out.